Welcome! Today we'll be looking at the Dead or Alive 6 Deluxe demo which was available this weekend for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles. For a demo, it seems quite generous in what it allows. There's quite a large selection of characters available, quite a few stages, and numerous different modes including a full training suite, which is an unexpected but welcome addition in a demo like this. The game makes a very good impression at launch with some quick loading times. You can even skip through the company logos at the beginning, meaning that there is a really short window between launching the game and actually getting into something playable. Unfortunately, HDR seems to be a bit broken, at least on Xbox One X. When I launched the game with HDR enabled, it looked incredibly dim. Hopefully this will be fixed before launch. Diving straight into it, Dead or Alive 6 offers an action and a graphics mode on both the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X. On PS4 Pro, the difference between the modes seems imperceptible. There is maybe ever so slightly better shadow quality while using graphics mode, but it could just be different positions of objects while the screenshot was taken. On Xbox One X, though, there are a few immediately noticeable changes. A more precise ambient occlusion effect seems to be in use, while the quality of the texture filtering is dramatically increased. The biggest difference is definitely in resolution. While on PlayStation 4 Pro, the game appears to render at a native 1080p in both modes, on the One X, the action mode presents a native 1080p, while the graphics mode gives a full, native 4K image, quite a jump in picture quality, although it comes at a cost. In terms of parity between consoles, it appears that the action modes appear much the same on both consoles, while the extras like better texture filtering quality appear to be absent from the PS4 Pro's graphics mode. In light of this, it's possible that the PS4 Pro's graphics mode just isn't working correctly in the demo. Lastly, there is no difference in performance or resolution when selecting 1080p or 4K output via PS4 Pro in either mode, so there's no need to go digging in console settings. If we take a look at Xbox One X performance now then, you can see immediately that the game just does not hit anywhere near 60fps in its graphics mode. Generally speaking, the game hovers around 35 to 45 fps, frequently hanging around 40 fps for a significant length of play. This has a noticeable impact on controller response and visual fluidity, and it's really not great for a fighting game like this, which requires precise timing to be competitive. The boost in image quality is immense, and the result is a beautifully sharp image, but the fluctuating frame rate means you're never looking at a smooth input, which is generally a staple for the genre. 1080p for action mode on X possibly seems a little low, given the Pro manages a similar turnout in performance, but it's possible that pushing above this would have resulted in unwanted frame drops. PlayStation 4 Pro meanwhile seems to exhibit very little to no performance issues in either mode. While it's possible these stages haven't stressed the engine to its limits, the turnout here is excellent and in either mode you're looking at a pretty much locked 60fps. I'll leave the footage playing a little longer so you can get an idea, but there really is nothing to see here, which is pretty good news. Moving on, cutscenes are present in the game though they appear to be compressed 30fps pre-rendered videos, which is a bit disappointing as they don't age particularly gracefully and when encoded at lower bit rates, they can look noticeably different to the game itself. They also exhibit frame pacing issues during playback which make them look juddery. Additionally, I experienced some quite severe stuttering when playing online which manifested itself as the game appearing to freeze completely for periods of time. Hopefully, this is either due to some server issues they were currently having or it will be addressed before launch, as it's quite severe and is likely to interfere with the ability to play competitively. Overall then, Dead or Alive 6 Deluxe Demo makes a good impression on certain areas. For example, the performance in local matches is excellent in the action mode on either consoles, and the graphics mode on Xbox One X gives a truly beautiful, sharp image, even if it comes at a cost. It remains to be seen if the issues like broken HDR and the stuttering during online play will be fixed before release however, given how close it is. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for your support, and please like and subscribe for more videos like this.